We'll make it here. It's gonna turn real quick. This thing actually feels pretty light, and it does turn actually not bad at all, considering. Let's give it a little gas here. She's got some go. Oh yeah, she does. I mean. Good morning, welcome back to the channel. This is Peter. We are on board a 2024 Ford Escape Active. This is basically the cheapest car you can get from Ford right now, this Ford Escape Active, as Ford no longer offers any sedans. This is actually the base car you can get, basically brand new from Ford for about $30,000. For 2024, Ford has done some changes to the Ford Escape, being one of them is that the base model has been dropped. Now this active model is their base trim for this Ford Escapes. This one just starts out just under $30,000 with destination you're looking just under $31,000, but this is basically what you get for about $30,000 brand new from Ford. Now, being on board this Ford Escape, I really like it. I'm a Ford Escape owner myself. This one here is finished off in a carbonized gray uh, exterior uh, color. We'll look at it in a few moments after our test drive. Uh, the interior wise here, we got a what they call a space gray interior, which is a combination of a gray, light gray and a black cloth seating. For the black door trim, as you can see there, we got some dark uh, trim there on the doors as well, here as well on the dash. Coming out here to the center of the glove box, we have pretty good size glove box. And heading up here, as you can see, we got just sunglass holder. We have lights, controls here for your lights. That's about it, besides your rear view mirror. Coming down here to your center armrest, we have a, like a dark vinyl finish. And if we open this up, we got plenty of storage space, no connections there at all. And coming here to the center console, we have your start stop button here for on and off we have your drive modes as you can see that we got four drive modes normal echo up oh, we're gonna put them here guys we got switching by hand normal echo sport and slippery we're gonna put this thing on sport that's the type of channel we are and then here we head to the other button we have your auto hold button here to turn it on and off parking brake and we have your dog for your eight speed automatic transmission there we have a cup holders of where my phone is down here we have a couple usb ports here more storage page and a tow boat connection heading here to the ac we got to do some ac ac vents and your hazard button physical controls for your radio and here we have the eight inch screen that's basically centered on this uh, ford escape actives and this is basically an eight inch touchscreen screen uh, sync 4 system with the uh, android auto apple carplay and we also have sunlight radio this is a pretty much a base system as you can see there uh, just basically your radio stations some applications for your phone some settings it does uh refresh over the air as well and for the audio we got basically six big speakers on this radios that doesn't sound too bad at all as you can see in the dash is all pretty soft touch material i really like that kind of dark gray material that they put on the doors as well as here and put the steering wheel here as well kind of works well with this kind of a more you know tame uh, interior but it's, it's really not bad at all considering you know what you get for about thirty thousand. now coming here to the steering wheel that's really nice. This has got a nice uh, feeling material. It's not leather, but it does feel very nice to your fingertips. Here we got controls for the center cluster, and we have controls here for the cruise control. Of course, you get your stock here in the back of the steering wheel. Uh, here in the middle, we got basically a uh, about a seven, six inch digital cluster. As you can see that we got just basic controls for uh, your basic information, eco coach. And if we press the button here, we got a little bit of uh, buttons here for your trip fuel, all kinds of things you can switch. Not a lot of information, but at least for gives you that type of uh, digital screen, as you can see there and coming here to the left side we have controls here for your lights little button to open up your hatch controls for your windows and mirrors and uh, that's about it this is basically what it is about it for this interior now it's actually a pretty nice interior considering the price and this is what you get for about thirty thousand dollars for the basically basically your base ford car base ford sgb this one here is powered by the 1.5 liter three-cylinder turbocharged engine with about 181 horsepower so not a lot of power but overall a pretty nice package from ford if you're looking for the base car you can get uh to purchase now before we go on and go out for a test drive, i want to make a big thank you to Bartow Ford for allowing me some time with this ford escape a big thank you to tim i'll put all their information and a link to their website in the description below so ladies and gentlemen let's go out for a drive and before we go on let's go ahead and put our reverse camera on as you can see we have a uh, basically pretty decently graphic uh, camera i mean it's not the best graphics you can get for this camera uh we also have some traction lines but they don't move and we have no uh sensors in the back as well so basically just a really really base backup system we just basically a camera so that's basically what you get 
for about 30 grand let's go ahead and go forward now we do have our hold button on right now you can see it's holding i'm the basically we're on drive unless we step on the gas that will release the hold and let's go ahead and go on and see how this ford escape drives now being the base model this is powered as i mentioned by the three cylinder ecoboost turbocharged engine 181 horsepower and 190 pound feet of torque that torque comes pretty down low on the rpm now this is a pretty nice vehicle now as a ford escape owner myself i own the 2016 one a prior gen uh, it's been pretty good so far escape. Uh, let's go ahead and actually let's go ahead and actually head this way and see how this girl handles this little curve here a little bit so this is uh, about the 3500 pound suv pretty light considering it's not a big suv your base suv not a lot of options as you can see they're opening a new road there it's pretty nice the way this handles i mean it feels light on its feet now in terms of the transmission this is an eight speed automatic going to the front wheels of course option all wheel drive on this ford escapes if you have to go to the higher models uh, but I think you have to go to the two liter engine to get the all wheel drive. But overall, the handling this thing feels pretty light. The steering is pretty direct, not much feeling, but it actually goes where you point it to. And even with this, you know, a little bit uh, thicker tire wall, it's actually got some pretty good steering. And in terms of the feel, the way, the way it feels, I mean, it feels refined, it's quiet, it's the, the transmission is very smooth so far. You can feel a little bit of the stumbling, but it's still a brand new vehicle, it might still be breaking in a little bit. Uh, but overall, it's a very comfortable feeling to this SUV, you know, to this 2024 Ford Escape. Now, as an Escape owner myself, I'm used to the 2-liter engines, a little more power, much more torque. Uh, that's definitely the engine I would recommend in this Ford Escape. Now, there's somebody here. Let's go ahead and see how this drives. Now, nobody coming in this way. Let's go ahead and get a little gas, guys, here. And there's a the torque coming in. And we forgot to put it in sport mode because obviously we got the drive modes so now we shot it off. Let's go ahead and get this thing and I'll shut it off. Let's go ahead and put this thing on sport and see how that helps us out and get kind of holds on to our revs a little higher in the higher gear or lower gear, excuse me. But overall, the ride is very smooth. A little bit of tire noise and a little bit of wind noise and road noise, but nothing major considering this is a very base model. The ride does feel very smooth though, to be honest. It's a very smooth ride. Let's see if we can make this light here. I think we can. And yep, I will make it here. It's gonna turn real quick. This thing actually feels pretty light. And it does turn actually not bad at all, considering let's give it a little gas here. She's got some go. Oh yeah, she does. I mean, not crazy power, but the torque feels really nice in the low bottom end. And being such a light SUV, I mean, the, the cow is very low. This actually feels so so nice. You got a pretty good brown area of, you know, uh, windshield. So you feel like it's a light vehicle that's, you know, it's airy. It doesn't feel claustrophobic as some other SUVs that I've driven. This is a very nice vehicle overall in terms of the way it drives. That very, very smooth uh, suspension. The ride is super smooth, comfortable. Obviously, this has got no sort of sport feeling. If you go to the uh, ST line select, that gives you the all wheel drive and the two liter engine, and the suspension does have a sports and suspension in that one. The full pretty quick. I did review, I did do a review of that, uh, escape a little bit of a That's a 2023 model. But as you can see, guys, this is very nice. Uh, it should be for 31,000 out the door, obviously, that's including destination. But it a pretty decent, decently good uh, SUV. You know, you got, and it's a good stereo on it. Let's go back to audio. Um, you got some radio, your basic things, uh, you know, nothing crazy. You got AC at least, but if you want to go fancier with a bigger screen, you're going to have to go to a higher, much higher model. Uh, so these are another option on this on this active model. So basically, that's basically it, guys, for 2024. There's uh, about four or five trim so this one's forces the active you got the various st line models and then you have the platinum and then we have the h of the plug-in hybrid that's basically the top end model for the ford escapes all the way up to mid 40s this is basically starting at 29.5 31,000, basically out the door with destination but uh there we go guys let me know what you guys think of this ford escape especially for the price and the turning is actually not bad at all it feels pretty light not a lot of tire yeah we're pushing there a little bit but good torque of this little 1.5 liter three cylinder engine the, 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 the turbo really gives you helps you out and for every day i think it's plenty of power gives you that good fuel economy oh, about 
29, 30 miles per gallon combined in the city and driving, depending on, of course, how you drive. So if you're one of those Florida crazy drivers that's always driving in anger, then that's a different story. But, <laughs> but let me know what you guys think of this 2024 Ford Escape. Uh, you know, not considering the price, I think it's a pretty good, decent deal for if you want some basic transportation. Uh, plenty of, pretty comfortable SUV, plenty of amenities, I think so. And, uh, but if you, have, if you want a little higher, just go to a higher trim. But I pretty much, and yeah, very smooth, not a lot of wind noise, a little bit of road noise for sure. And this has also got Ford's, you know, not all, it still doesn't have Ford 360, uh, Ford Copilot 360 Plus, but you get some of the basic things like, you know, Ford detection, you got blind spot detection, heated mirrors as well. Uh, does have quite a bit of that, and of course you get the adaptive cruise control as well. So it doesn't, you know, you're not, it's not a stripper stripper model, but you get some good, decently options for this base phase four escape, as you can see. But, but guys, in conclusion, good you know good value for your basically base suv for for base car for ford i think it's pretty decently very comfortable very roomy very nice suspension and it's an suv actually you're getting for this money so not a car unfortunately ford doesn't offer any other cars unfortunately but that's the way it goes as with this uh you know this new generation of you know a lot, a lot of companies going the suv route and not keeping any other cars and ford was one of them as well but it actually feels a little this engine actually feels i don't know why it feels a little quieter in this escape i've driven the the same engine in the Ford Bronco Sport and it seems a little louder on the Bronco than the Escape. I don't know if that made some of the sound dent materials, but overall a really nice overall you know SUV for what you get for the price. I think it's a good value. And uh, very smooth, plenty of power, I mean for everyday city driving. And this has got nothing else. I mean there's a lot of options. You can definitely go to the higher end models. But if you're looking for just base transportation or something for a company, I think this Ford Escape is actually a pretty good deal considering what you get for, for the money. And the brake pedal feels very nice too. Nice and a good pedal feel feedback and pretty good progressive brakes as well. So let me know what you guys think of this Ford Escape Active. This is basically your bare bones model. Uh, no options for about thirty thousand dollars. You can't get any cheaper than this. So let me know what you guys think about this model. If you would consider something like this, if you find this kind of value, um, considering there's a lot of competition in this segment uh, from every basically almost every manufacturer, I don't find this a, a bad deal at all. Depends on the styling, depends on what you get. But before we go on, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the sticker and the outside of this SUV. All right, I'm back to this spot here. Let's go ahead and put the first camera back on. As you can see, pretty, actually pretty decent clear graphics now that we're here. No trajectory line, no nothing. It does a trajectory line, but they don't move at all. And we have no sensors at all, just to let you know on this base model. But there we go. Let's put this thing in park. And uh, let's go and check out the exterior. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this sticker here of this Ford Escape. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this sticker for you guys up on the screen a little bit better so you can see it. So here we have a 2024 Ford Escape Active front wheel drive, finished in carbonized gray. So it's going to start off at $24,000, I mean, excuse me, $29,495. No options at all here and for a total price of $30,990 with destination. So let me know what you guys think of this pricing. Now coming here to the front of this Ford Escape, let's go ahead and open up the hood and see what's powering this Ford Escape. Now, this one doesn't have any type of hydraulic assist so we have to get the little stick and put it in where it's indicated so here we have the 1.5 liter ecoboost three-cylinder turbocharged engine this is producing 181 horsepower 190 pound feet of torque going to an eight-speed automatic transmission and this is a front-wheel drive model so you can definitely get out all drive as an option but you have to go up to uh, basically uh, another model but it's a pretty good engine as you can see it's got but plenty of low-end torque not the most smoothest or the quietest engine but if you're going to go into a different engine i would suggest a two liter turbocharged engine that's the other option or of course you also can go hybrid or um, plug-in hybrid as well so that's all the option you have for this ford escapes so this is a pretty good basic engine for every day it's not bad at all in terms of fuel consumption or fuel economy you're looking at about 26 27 miles per gallon in the city and about 31 or 32 on the highway. i'll put all those figures for you guys up on the screen but there we go guys this is the base engine for this ford escape active let's go ahead and shut down the hood again put this thing back in the stick and there we go so here we have this 2024 Ford Escape. As you can see, guys, this is finished off in the carbonized gray. 
exterior, which is a nice one. Here we got your 17 inch wheels with the Michelin 225 millimeter tires coming around. Here we got the nice exterior. As you can see the lighting, everything's done really well. That's got a nice grill to the front here. As you can see there, we have the lighting, no fog or anything like that. Coming here to the back, we got a bit of aluminum trim. And actually this color is not bad looking and the wheels have a decently good design to them as well. Checking out the rear of this Ford Escape. As you can see there, we got that same light in the exterior. We got just some black plastics here, as you can see. Pockets, AC outlets, but in one uh, USB connection there, as you can see there. And of course, you can fold the seats down as well. Actually, this is the plank right here. You can fold those seats down, which is really nice. Not bad at all, considering the interior. And come here to the back on the key, we do have a double click to open up the rear hatch, as you can see there. Which is pretty cool unless you get that some of the some of the SUVs don't have come that standard on a higher trip but here we go guys so we have about 34 cubic feet of space in this Ford Escape the seats come down as well we do have a let me see if we can get this out of the way we have a spare tire here as well which is pretty nice that comes with this Ford Escape so there we go guys pretty interesting interior to this Ford Escape as you can see we just press the button here and that comes down but there we go guys here is basically your $30,000 Ford Escape SUV. Let me know what you guys think of this Ford Escape. I mean, if you think it's a good value for this money. And uh, we'll look forward to see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.